What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, now, you know who this is? And again, I have to apologize for the air conditioner. I'm in a hot area, so I don't need it. So uh, I'm going to talk about, I'm gonna, well, I'm not going to wait, I'm going to wait a minute before I discuss what I talk about. But I'm going to talk about stuff that I see a lot of you guys caping for. A lot of you guys rescuing cats out of trees, you know, helping little old ladies cross the road, you know. You know, sorry for people who don't even, who are against you, number one, and, and, and your, your logic your logic, you have your truth is circular. You're like one plus one is two, and two plus one is three. That's how you're. you're it's just circular. There's no. It's like there's no. You no. Know, you know. It's it's truth. But then you go. Well, if one plus one is two, and two plus one is three, then four plus five is six. That's how the type of logic you guys use on me. And I'm like, sit the fuck down. All right, now I'm talking about. I'm gonna talk about something. A lot of you people don't understand, and it's apparent that you don't understand. You guys are caping for black homosexuals and lesbians, and I'm gonna tell you why. I refuse to cape for them, and I'm gonna give you stone cold facts. This isn't what I believe. This isn't what I disagree with. This is what happened in real time. This isn't your truth. What you believe in. What I'm telling you is stuff that actually happened. Now, I've been doing my videos. And if you look at my videos, I've been doing them. I was running the gay the gay and lesbian thing parallel to the Civil Rights Voting Act of 65 that was in the Supreme Court. I was doing that for a purpose. Not a lot of you caught on to that. And I can see why because most of you, like I said, your, your logic, I just explained your logic. And like the shit I was talking about apparently was too highbrow or too too hard to understand for your for your feeble minds or something. It's like you're you're the hamster running around on the fucking wheel and you're wondering why you're tired all the time. Get off the fucking wheel, hamster. Now when I was doing those videos and I kept telling you guys, and I was down in DC like twice, your black and gay lesbian counterparts we're not on your side for the Civil Rights Voting Act to get passed. So the Civil Rights Voting Act affected minorities the most. Now, aren't gay and lesbians the minorities? Yes. But when it came down to it, gay, black gays and lesbians chose homosexual marriage over being black. This is a fact. This is proven. You can't say nothing other words than, well, you're just mad. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm mad for a reason. Cause you want me to embrace a, a group of people that didn't embrace me when it was time. When it was time to count. When the time counted, they didn't embrace me. They embraced their lifestyle. They embraced who they well, who I am. That's why I don't want them part of like. Like, that's why black people need to get this shit together, because that's why I don't really deal with these pro-blacks and shit like that, because they don't want to talk about this. When, Like I said, this, this, is, this, is, this is history. This is what happened. When it was time for the Civil Rights Bill, like, when it got struck down, when I mean got struck down, there were certain provisions in the Civil Rights Bill that has denied people's voting rights, and that's when they started gerrymandering again and all that stuff. Like I said, I'm talking too high for you guys. Go you Google and look this shit up. Your ignorance is not my problem. And this is the last thing I'm telling a lot of you guys this. Your ignorance is not my problem. Now, back to the lecture in hand. When they started gerrymandering and putting all these black districts in Republican hands, guess what happened? More blacks voted for Trump, you fucking idiots. Now, is that a coincidence? Maybe, but the, like I said... I'm getting back to I'm, 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 I'm getting a little further from the topic, but let me bring it back a little. The fact of it is, black homosexuals and lesbians rode with the gay marriage thing. So, okay, that's their agenda. So you want to bring a folks with a separate agenda into a fold with, with people 
who have another agenda. So you want to have, first of all, you want to have two separate agendas benefiting one group of one group of people. Because the, the, the agenda's not benefiting me. Gay marriage ain't benefiting me. This is the ignorance and this is the stupidity I got to deal with. Fact of the matter remains is this. Our voting rights got struck down and gays and gay blacks and lesbians chose us. And then people want to say, well, where's the Look, look, you fucking dummies. And that's not, I'm tired. I'm tired of being nice to so many people. But some of you are just fucking ignorant to the point of you get mad at what the white man will say, say about you. Well, unfortunately, a lot of you are that fucking stupid. Cause you don't want to, you want me to do your research, and I'm not the one. And then here's the here's the new here's the new thing. If y'all don't know, you get on Facebook, and one of these dummies will say, "Prove it, prove it." And you prove it to them. No matter how much you prove it to them, no matter what they think, what they say, if they don't agree with you, you can prove everything in the world. You can prove to them that shit fucking stinks. If they don't like you, they're not gonna believe you. That's why I gave that up years ago. My old man told me that when I gave that up. I gave up. Proving myself to people. If you don't believe me, you prove me wrong. You want to know why? Because most of these fucking people won't do it because they're lazy and they're ignorant and they don't know where to begin. But they'll tell you some, some round about we're fucking gods and we're Egyptians and we're all that other bullshit trying to fucking soak you with this fucking shea butter scandals and all this other other bullshit. But when it comes to talk about the real topics at hand, they won't talk about the real topics at hand. You know why I won't talk about the real topics at hand? Because that means you have to get down to the nitty gritty and that means you have to exclude people. And they won't come around with this all Shangri-La, we're all, we're all Egyptians and all whatever the fuck they're on now. And that's why I don't pay attention to them fuck, fucking idiots. Because, like I said, at the beginning, at the bottom line is we cannot have the gay, the gay and lesbians have to. They have to understand we're under one, we're under one agenda. There is you, look, look, look at the, look at the parties right now, the Democratic Republicans. You can't have a bunch of agendas going on in your own party. You see what that's going on, but yet you say you say it'll happen in there with the black community. Hell, we can't even fucking talk about black on black crime. You want another agenda going on. You guys are some real fucking idiots. I'm telling you. You are. You can mad at me all you want. You people are some real fucking idiots. You don't understand. This is, I'm trying to be as simple as possible. But some of you, this is, this, is, this is like fucking rocket science to some of you. You want me to accept a group of people when it came down to something that benefits all of us. They said no. They went to the homosexual side, and you want me to bring them back with open arms. How many times does it take for you to get fucking punched in the face before you fucking move? You're like, you're like an abusive fucking wife. You you get punched in the face, oh, he means he, he just means he loves me. No, bitch. It means he fucking punches you in the face. And that's the problem with black people. Black people don't want to come to conclusions. Black people don't want, look, at the end of the day, I know for a fact that I can exclude black homosexuals, no matter who they are. Let me put that, make that perfectly clear. If you're not riding for the cause, you're riding against the cause. If we have an agenda and it was laid out, and everybody, and most, and it's a democratic procedure, and most everybody agrees to this. This is what we're about. Now, if you want to come in saying, "Well, we'll, we'll help you guys," if there ain't no ifs, motherfucker. You either ride with this or you're getting rolled the fuck over. And that's what a lot of black people don't want to do because they're so soft-hearted, even though they want to fool Jesus every five minutes. And then when he talks about, about, well, what about this uh, homosexual thing in the Bible? They want to bring up stoning. They want to bring up all sorts of fucking Ill, Ill, fucking stuff that don't have nothing to do with it. You want to know why? They want to justify their bullshit position. Well, the fact of the matter remains is this. Whether you like it or not, if you side, it, it, it's like this. You side with them, you side against me. That's how I feel. Do I have a problem with homosexuals? No. Do I have a problem with lesbians? No. Matter of fact, keep it 100. Lesbians, the, 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 a lot of the, the ones that act like the men, they sleep with dudes. That's behind them. But anyway, you got to understand that they weren't for you. This is this is truth. This is facts. This isn't what you're. This this is reality right there. This isn't something that was made up and you guys like you guys pull shit from the sky and hope it just falls. This is what actually happened. 
Look at look at the votes. Line it up. Remember when Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton and all these other guys coming in here and tell you to vote for gay marriage? Why weren't they telling you to vote for, to look out for the civil rights voting act? Come on, man. Don't trust who the government puts in front of you. And that was the problem with Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton. Yes, they were civil rights activists. Yes, they were this. Yes, they were that. Now, they're like, what's your name? Ag uh, Ag uh, Mary, what's her name? Agaloo, the, the poet. She's getting all these uh, Kenny Senator honors and all this other bullshit for being this black this and that. And the motherfucker married to a white guy. But telling me how to be black. And that's another problem with the community. You got a lot of these motherfuckers out here. A lot of these, these pro-blacks married to white people. Which I have no problem with. But don't tell me you're pro-black. And I tell my white friends that. My wife, like, like I said, I have white friends. I have a white dude, he's Irish. Married an Asian chick. But he wants to tell me he's, he got all these tattoos of shamrocks and shit. I'm like, look, bro, don't don't, don't, don't tell me you're pro-Irish. Because how can you be pro-Irish when you don't sleep with you and your old ace in another, you know, another nationality? Don't come over here with that. That's how I look at things. I don't care who you love. Just don't just don't bang the drum like, you, like you're that, that serious. And the fact that remains is this. A lot of you are caping for people that kicked you in your ass. You're caping for people that threw dirt in your face. But then again, you won't cry about the white man does this, the white man does that. But your own people are doing it to you too, and you ain't saying them. You want to go, you want to do Shangri La to trade. You want to have traders everywhere, and then but the, look, it ain't happening. And they, look, you guys are not going to be in charge anyway. Let, let me, let me, I'm gonna drop some hints here. You people think you're going to be in charge? If, if the heads are going to roll, and let me say it again, heads are going to roll if some of you think you're going to be in charge. And I'm not, I'm not making no offense to nobody. I'm just saying heads will fucking roll if some of you think you're going to lead the charge. It ain't happening. You're not built like that. We're not going to cave for none of you people. If, if, if worst comes to worst, my people come first. All right. Peace.